Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel on Bushcom. We're going to talk today about the K91. I'm going to tell you the good parts of the tank, the bad parts of the tank. Uh, pro tip, there's not many. <laughs> it's not made of impervious armor. Um, there you go. Uh, and basically outlining you how you should be playing the tank to be successful and why um, I think it is the equivalent of the AMX Premier Proto, but for heavies. Uh, because the Premier Proto is just an amazingly good medium tank at tier 9, uh, and the K91 is exactly the same in terms of heavies. I'm also going to show you the armor profile and have a little chat to you about that. The thing that really gets to me about this tank straight away is usually what you'll have is you'll have um, a tank that's either got great DPM as a heavy or big alpha and a high armor, like an E100 or something, or a Carnarvon that has hull down ability but has a really, really pew-pew gun. This thing gets a decent dose of, alpha, dose of alpha at 350 but gets crazy good DPM. Um, I'm running mine actually on the low end of the DPM scale at like 2653 because I like to run uh, calibrated shells. Now, that's important too. Being an autoloader... And uh, meaning you can't run adrenaline anyway. You you run the, the engine boost. If you run calibrated shells, you get that benefit because you have heat of all that extra pen. So I'm running calibrated shells. I have a heat round that does 340 millis, millimeters a pen, which is really important when you're playing against tier 10 tanks. It means you, you're going to go in a hell of a lot more. Uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay. I'm going to show you some snippets. I'm going to break down some more important things about it uh, and talk a lot about the meta and the way you should be playing the tank. But first of all, we're going to have a look at the armor profile. The first thing I want to talk about the armor is this funny little uh, bugaboo here. The sides of the tank are not actually spaced armor. They look like spaced armor because you can see the tracks, but the tracks actually follow underneath the tank's armor itself. Very so you've got very true. flat sides there and there internally as well. So... That means that you can't over-angle this tank and expect not to be punished by heat. Still pretty good, though. Which is really, really important. And if we have a look at the pen, you're going to see the tank... I drove it in test, in super test, quite some time ago. I've already mentioned this, buddy. did nudge it around a bit. Um, the front of the tank is just pretty weak, but it is very strong versus, at the moment, this is an IS-8 shooting at it. But if we were to take it down a notch and, say, use an IS-6 or something, you can see why this tank is so good against lower tier tanks. Now, all tier 9 tanks should beat tier 8 tanks theoretically, but this tank just has it makes some great points. so much going for it when it fights lower tier tanks. Intelligent you can man. see there is an awful lot going on there Handsome in terms too. of armor. If you want to pin this with an IS-8, you've got, to, I mean, look at that, you've got mid 200s all over the place. Where it will struggle is against tier 10 tanks because its armor profile is very poor against tier 10 tanks. But it's a premium tank that is going to see a lot of tier 9 and tier 8 tanks. And to do that, it's it's going to fare fairly well. Now, the thing here that's really key is because you can run high... And thanks thanks for that, Bushka, by the way. Uh, because you can... I don't know if you've been watching this game, but this guy was talking a little bit of smack, uh, saying, come on, and then we just flanked around. The thing is... Its armor is not going to kill it versus tier 10 tanks, but you've got a 100 millimeter flat side, so you can side scrape it. Uh, there's no no denying that. It's not the best, but gee, it's pretty good. And it's a weird one, but it has 1,050 damage in seven seconds from the gun at good pen numbers, 248 millimeters on your standard AP uh, and 301. Now, if you obviously run calibrated shells on that, you're going to see those numbers go up to, uh, on your pen, 260 pen on your AP and 341 pen on your heat. That's a lot of pen, man. That's an awful lot of pen. It's more than enough to play at tier 10. And the thing I love about this thing uh, when I'm driving it is that if you're running up against tier 8 tanks, like tier 8 tanks, and you can output over a 1,000 damage in 7 seconds, there are not a lot of tier 8 tanks that fire faster than around every 7 seconds. So if you can bounce one tank, uh, one shot, and come back, you can put huge numbers in. Like, I accidentally fired heat there instead of HE. That was unfortunate. Um, switch back to AP, finish it up. Yeah, like... A thousand damage is an awful lot for a tier eight heavy. It's an awful lot for a tier nine heavy. Uh, when you've got 1600 hit points in an IS-3 and I push up on you and I take one 400 alpha shot and return nearly 1100 damage, um, yeah, that's that's a crazy amount. of. There's a thousand and seventeen in there with a ram and a max roll. And the fact that you only have to wait 3.53 seconds uh, is crazy for that. It's perfectly when t uh, 
for tearing up and running with, say, a big heavy tank like a Moistgen uh, or an ST1 or something where you basically have just the job of running in and pumping huge amounts of damage and then pulling out. And in a pinch, you can angle and side scrape and hold a corner, which is really, really important. If there was a tank that I said, uh, I don't think it'd be any surprise here that that it's a replacement level vehicle for, it's the IS-8. Like, I don't feel like it's quite as mobile as an IS-8, but the firepower is just stupidly good for a tier eight heavy, a tier nine heavy. Like, this is legitimately tier 10 auto loader firepower. And you've got the same kind of DPM as those good tier 10 tanks. And yet you're in a tier nine tank. So for me, that's crackers. And we did do a little bit of a chat about the, uh, about the, you know, the, the armor and stuff. But you can side scrape this very, very comfortably in tier nine and eight games, very comfortably. Uh, you can get good angles up to the, mid to high 200s very, very easily uh, once you know what you're doing. The other thing that I will point out with this, um, you have seven degrees of gun depression and a fairly solid turret. Um, watch this. This is a great example of why this tank is so crazy good. Uh, we're going to just absolutely pump this poor guy over there. That is a tier eight heavy. He's on the push. No worries. There's all your hit points. Like seven seconds. And his hit points are toast and now i just pull back and wait until i get a reload on um just here he goes one two three one pussycat max roll i don't even need the third shell here that's five shells in a row and then another one into this bloke over here i've just done 2100 damage in two pokes I, uh, I think the numbers on this I'm averaging, let me just check because they were pretty silly. I only played about 15 games in it or so because I've, I've played it so many times before uh, and I know that it's a good tank. And it's also very good when angled up like this. Oh, geez, Bushka, come on, old oh, Bushka, old oh, power. Come on, buddy, you really need to get this one going. Um, oh, this is, I mean, this is, oh, this is the last game I'll show you, right? But this is a great example of why this tank is so fantastic. Um, uh, if we have a look at this, I've gone out to the flank here, and there's going to be many examples in your... Yeah, it's averaging 3,100, 3,200 damage for me. Like, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, you can see here, I've gone out to the flank. I don't... I got here first, didn't have a lot of support, but there's going to be a moment where the... The Lerva is going to push, right? And this IS-3, IS-6 is just desperate to get shots in. He's going to... He's going to push in. Um, we're going to hold this flank, basically. We're going to keep it together. We track that bloke up, the Pantera. The 49 finishes him off. Ducking down here, getting another shot, turning that IS-6 into a one-shot. Going to heat straight through. 341 millimeters of pen, full reload. Again, this thing is a one-man wrecking crew. That Lerva, I am very worried about because he has a bit of gun depression. He has very good gun. He has good pen. I want to keep tapping him up. We go to And we just go to heat. Just go to heat, and he, he turns a lovely shade of grey, which is exactly what you want in a tank. Um, everything looks penable, and I mean, I think we bounce one here. Yeah, we bounce one off the very top of his turret. But what I want to point out here is you're going to see me just make a trade in a second. A Lerva can do enough damage. Um, 300 damage, great. Wonderful stuff. I can do 1,050 if I'm given the opportunity, and that means that if that Lerva is not aware of my capabilities, I am able to waltz over there and absolutely clear him. And this is how you should play the tank. And this is how you should be very, very careful about playing against this tank. If you are under a thousand hit points and this thing gets free shots at you, I can just go forward, try and bait a shot. I'm waiting for him, seeing if I can get him to bait a shot. He's not giving anything up. He's actually playing pretty well. He doesn't understand what's going on here, though. He is in the open. Eventually, I just decide there is no time. We are losing on, on points. I've got to go in there and get the shot. I've got to go and clear the tank. Let's go and get it done. And when I roll forward, he's just done. He's finished. He, he cannot deal with the, the raw damage. We take one shot, 281. Another max roll. Over. He got 281 damage in, and I cleared him as a tank. And he's a heavy tank. He's a tier 8 heavy. And a big bopping tier 8 heavy. Like a proper heavy tank. That's where this tank shines. The The idea that you can um, 
treat it like a normal heavy tank when it's got armor and mobility and a little bit of gun depression and everything else and it still will just poke out and wreck you is pretty crazy so you know there's 4k damage we lose this game because um i think we lost it on cap the guys we had an ascent and an indian that went town it was crazy uh and we're i'm trying to get this guy killed just just ticks out mm, unfortunate uh four kills four and a half k like the thing poops damage. It's a good heavy. It does really, really well. Is it too strong? God, yeah. Paying for power, baby. That's what you're doing right here. 4,000, you know. I don't know. You tell me. Until next time, look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. Good tank if you want it. <laughs> Bye for now.